Angels. Hey, Angels. What's up? It's your girl, Alicia, and I'm back today with another video, and I got a message for you guys from the Lord today. Before we dive into this word today, I need to take a second and thank all of my moderating brothers and sisters. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for holding down the chat, helping me keep a safe and clean community here. I need to take a second and thank my Super Chat family. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you guys for sewing into God's vision here on the channel. You guys are greatly appreciated. And now I need to take a second and welcome all of the new angels to the academy. This is a God-ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable, and to grow into the fullness of God. So if you have not done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come over and join the family. I would love to have you guys here. And so do you guys got your Bibles? You got to know I got mine. Comment down below. I got my Bible, sis. I got my Bible so you know it's real. Glory be to God. And so I'm so super excited to get into this word with you guys today. But before we dive in, we need to take a second and allow the Holy Spirit in. Although I know he's already here because he's within me. And so Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for this new day filled with your new grace and your new mercy, Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your prophetic warnings, your prophetic messages, God. I thank you for your dreams, your signs and your wonders and I just thank you for taking control of this word today whatever it is you want me to speak to your people I ask that you flow through me as never before in Jesus name I pray amen comment down below amen so I know it's real okay angel so I'm so super excited to dive into this word today God told me to title this message today God told me to warn you and so this message today is a prophetic warning it's a prophetic warning that in this season you are to be careful what you allow in your life and so I want to start this word off in scripture family get your bibles you guys know what i always say if you got the bible app on the phone then that's fine we still gonna read it together as a family and so god led me over to matthew chapter 12 verse 43 through 45 and it says when an evil spirit leaves a person it goes into the desert seeking rest but finding none then it says i will return to the person i came from so it returns and finds its former home empty swept and in order then the spirit finds seven other spirits more evil than itself and they all enter the person and live there and so that person is worse off than before that will be the experience of this evil generation and so Glory be to God and God bless this word today. In this verse, Jesus tells a parable to illustrate a spiritual truth about the danger of spiritual emptiness and the importance of filling your life with the right things. So let me see if I can break this scripture down piece by piece in order for you guys to have a better understanding. The scripture begins with the imagery of an impure spirit leaving a person. So this suggests a spiritual deliverance or liberation from demonic influence. And so put yourself into this word, right? This is you giving your life to Christ, getting your life together, understanding that you've opened up the door to the enemy, right? And now you want to close the door to the enemy. So you start feeding your spirit. You start going to church. You start, you know, learning more about God, right? And you go through this process of spiritual deliverance. So anything that was evil and attached to you, listen, God delivers you from that. Comment down below, sis. I get that if you understand what I'm saying to you guys today. And so the next part of the scripture tells us that the spirit wanders through dry places, right? Through the desert, seeking rest, but finding none. So this emphasizes a restless and wandering nature of evil. So we know that evil is always lurking, right? And that the devil is always on the prowl. That's what our Bible teaches us. But follow me, family. Now listen to this. The scripture says, unable to find rest, the spirit decides to return to the house it left. So sis, what does this mean? The house here represents the person or the soul. So this scripture is literally saying that this evil spirit that can't find no rest is going to come back to you. Listen. But when the spirit returns, it finds the house. It finds you, right? Unoccupied, swept clean and put in order. Glory be to God. And so now that you're living for God, you know, you cleaned your life up. You were delivered from all of those negative influences. You shut the door to the enemy. Who am I talking to today? And so this part of the scripture emphasizes that your life has been cleaned up, but not filled with anything positive or spiritually nourishing. 
Hmm, that's a word. And so don't let this go over your head, family. So it's one thing to close the door to the enemy, right? You 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 leave old relationships, you let go of old friendships, um, you stop doing drugs and smoking and drinking and all these different things that you were doing to fill these voids. And so you're pure now and the Holy Spirit is within you, right? But you got to make sure that you keep growing. You got to make sure that you're still filling your life with things that's going to spiritually feed you. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. You got to make sure that you're surrounded around people that's going to push you to continue to grow. Who am I talking to today? And so the next part of the scripture speaks about the spirit returning with seven other spirits. Somebody comment down below, the devil be busy. <laughs> Listen, this is a right there word. The Bible tells us that this spirit returns with seven other spirits more wicked than itself. Have you ever felt like you've been fighting these demons, glory be to God, and you've overcome this battle and then for some reason it just seems like everything is spinning the block all over again? Like, what is going on? Like, why is the devil so busy? And so this part of the verse suggests that when your life is empty or devoid of spiritual substance, you become vulnerable to even greater spiritual oppression or evil influences. Somebody comment down below, sis, I get that if you understand what I'm saying to you guys today. And so as a result of the return of the impure spirit and all of his other companions that he's brought along with him to afflict you. And so now you end up in a much worse situation than you were in before. And so this is your word confirmation that God is warning you of the dangers of spiritual emptiness and the need for true repentance and spiritual transformation. And so God is saying to you today, it is important to not only remove the negative influences from your life, but it is also just as important to also continue to fill your life with positive influences and spiritually enriching practices and beliefs. And I just feel led to say this, if you refuse to, you know, fellowship with like-minded people, you know, go to church, uh, feed your spirit, read the Bible, stay close to God, constantly continue to grow, then you will find yourself going backwards. And that's really the spiritual warning because now you're dealing with this spirit coming back to try to destroy you and bring in other spirits along the way, right? Because the devil really don't want to see us be great. And so now you feel this void inside of you and now you find yourself going back to things that God delivered you from, right? So now you're smoking again, now you're drinking again, now you're partying again, now you're doing all these things that you used to do. And so that's really the word. So understand today that there is a need for ongoing spiritual growth and vigilance and resisting evil influences. So that is the end of our video today, family. I pray that you guys receive this word today from the heavens above. If this is your word today, comment down below, sis. This is my word today. I needed this. We are on the road to 60,000 angels. To God be the glory, but I cannot do it without you guys. I need you guys to continue to do what you've been doing. Giving the videos a great big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share the videos out with at least three or four people that the spirit leads you guys to if you have not gotten your holy anointed or you yet what are you doing poo the link is down below in the description go down below and click on that link and go over and get your holy or use family if you would like to sow a seed into the ministry all the information is down below in the description i also have a peel box i'll drop it here for you guys if you guys would like to send over a money order or check in the mail that is the end of our video today family but always remember the secret to success say it with me y'all put god first always be determined and consistency is key period i love you guys and that is the end of our video today shout out to my baby he just came in with my smoothie yes. babe what is this it's up. bluebird pomegranate yes. y'all okay <laughs> it's good and it's healthy so y'all stay healthy stay blessed i love y'all